Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the top 5 best graphics cards in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research and I've listed them based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for the best value per dollar or the best product money can buy, we'll have the product for you. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Number 1 XFX Radeon RX 570 The first entry on our list is the XFX Radeon RX 570 Rupees XXX Edition, and behind the clunky name hides a rather affordable, simple, and straightforward graphics card that could very well be the best graphics card that you can get if you're looking for the cheapest GPU that can still run the latest games competently in 1080p. Our thoughts about this graphics card. The RX 570 is based on AMD's dated Polaris architecture, but it still holds up remarkably well even in 2020. This 14 nanometers GPU is capable of outperforming the slightly more expensive GTX 1650 and it even has an impressive 8GB of VRAM, which is more than enough for modern games, especially in 1080p. As for XFX's take on this particular model, the dual fan cooling solution is more than adequate, but it is the design that gives the card a decidedly budget feel. The modest shroud is made of cheap feeling plastic, all the while the color scheme and lack of detail ultimately make it come off as rather unimpressive. But of course, if you're shopping for a budget GPU, value and performance are going to matter way more than style, and the RX 570 delivers on both those fronts. Sure, it may be a bit more power-hungry than the newer GPU models, but when push comes to shove, this reliable old GPU sure can push a solid framerate in 1080p. Number 2 Zotac GTX 1650 the next GPU we have lined up is the Zotac Gaming GeForce GTX 1650 Super, another highly appealing budget-friendly graphics card that comes from one of NVIDIA's reliable partners. The 1650 Super is an updated version of the original GTX 1650, and it improves upon its predecessor in pretty much every way imaginable. Our thoughts about this graphics card. Based on NVIDIA's latest Turing architecture, the GTX 1650S represents NVIDIA's return to form when it comes to budget GPUs. For years, AMD dominated the budget and the mid-range when value was concerned, but the GTX 1650S beats AMD this time around. As you can see, this particular GTX 1650S model is quite compact but still features dual fan cooling, which is a very good thing if you don't like the higher noise generation and higher temperatures that inevitably come with single fan cards. Moreover, Zotac did a fine job bringing their new aesthetic to this GPU, granted, it is still a budget model with a simple shroud and without a backplate, but the angular shroud design helps it feel a bit more high quality than the previous RX 570 model from XFX. At the end of the day, the GTX 1650S constitutes a big upgrade over its predecessor and offers good performance at a very modest price point, plus the card is quite power efficient to boot. On the downside, the fans can get a bit loud when the card is under heavy load and it has fewer ports than most other models these days, but that's understandable considering the form factor. Number 3 Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XT And now, AMD's best gaming GPU so far, the RX 5700 XT. The specific model in question we'll be looking at is the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XT Gaming OC, which pretty much covers all the bases you'd expect as far as the cooling and the design are concerned. Our thoughts about this graphics card. As you can tell from the table above, the RX 5700 XT can reach higher clock speeds and has more higher bandwidth memory than the more affordable RX 5600 XT. Naturally, this reflects on the performance, giving this GPU the lead over its more modestly priced counterpart. Gigabyte did an exceptionally good job with this model, as it not only features a sleek black shroud, but also has an RGB backplate. More importantly, the triple windforce fans do an excellent job of keeping the card cool and allow it to reach higher clock speeds. 
All in all, if you're looking for 1440p performance, you won't find a better GPU at the moment. The RX 5700 XT can even take on 4K, albeit not at a stable 60fps, obviously. The main drawbacks to this card are its high power consumption and heat generation whoever heard of AMD GPUs running hot? However, it's also worth noting that the GPU also doesn't offer real-time ray tracing, unlike the competition, though this is not too big of a shortcoming in a mid-range card anyway. Number 4 MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Ultimately, if you're looking for a proper 4K gaming graphics card in 2020, a GPU that's bound to get your attention is the RTX 2080 Super, the MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Super Gaming X Trio, to be specific. Rest assured, if you're looking for performance and are willing to pay for it, you can't go wrong with this one. Our thoughts about this graphics card. There is not much to say about the RTX 2080s apart from the fact that it's the best high-end GPU that you can get at the moment that also comes at a relatively reasonable price. As mentioned above, it is a card well suited for 4K gaming and, obviously, it can also deliver amazing performance in 1440p as well. As far as the design is concerned, MSI really delivered on that front, both in regards to the cooling and the aesthetics of the card. The Triple Torx 3.0 fans look good and they do an even better job of keeping the card cool without being too loud. Meanwhile, the sleek metallic grey shroud and backplate, combined with the beautiful RGB lighting, make the card feel like a true high-end product. It is definitely a step up from MSI's older gaming cards that went a bit overboard with the red highlights, something that could make them feel somewhat cheap-ish. Now, you can already tell that the main drawback to this card is going to be its pricing. The RTX 2080s was released with an MSRP of $699, and with the price of MSI's cooling solution added on top of that, and it's obvious that you'll need to dish out a fair share of cash if you're after the premium performance at higher resolutions and or better ray tracing performance than what the more affordable RTX models have to offer. Number 5 GB Aorus GeForce RTX 2080 and for the final entry, we have NVIDIA's heaviest hitter yet, the RTX 2080T, and the model we'll be looking at here is the excellent Gigabyte Aorus GeForce RTX 2080T Extreme. This is the most powerful consumer-grade GPU intended for gaming at the moment, so we're looking at some serious hardware. Our thoughts about this graphics card. The RTX 2080T wasn't given a super refresh like the original RTX 20 series, but there wasn't really any need for that yet. If you look at the benchmarks, this card is a clear notch above the RTX 2080 Super, offering gaming performance almost as good as that of the monstrous Titan RTX, although that is not exactly a fair comparison, seeing as the Titan is more of a workstation GPU than a gaming one. Now, as impressive as the RTX 2080T is, it is ultimately a niche product. Sure, it beats the cheaper RTX 2080 Super in tests by a noticeable margin, but while the performance gap between those two is more significant than the performance gap between the RTX 2080s and the RTX 2070s, the price gap is even bigger. The MSRP of the RTX 2080s is $699, while the RTX 2080T starts at $999, with most aftermarket models costing even more. So, while the team might offer better 4K and ray tracing performance, we're sure that not many gamers would be itching to dish out another $300 to $600 extra just for that. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. If you found the video helpful, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.